we are one step closer to the historical truth. A new sensational discovery confirms that obsessive explorers like Percy Fawcett were indeed right. Yes, the thicket of the Amazon rainforest does indeed conceal the remains of an advanced civilization, shaking our previous view of history. But who were the people who tamed the jungle hundreds of years ago? What do we know about their way of life and their mysterious demise? Sit back, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and join us on a search for clues. Between Legend and Reality Routed in myth and legend, the Amazon rainforest embodies one of the last great wild places on Earth. Deep in the heart of the jungle, there are still at least 100 groups that have no contact with the outside world and categorically reject it due to the traumatic incidents of the past. But beyond the exotic plants and unrivaled biodiversity, the Amazon rainforest is home to something else – the legends of legendary cities whose splendor and wealth dwarf anything we know. Let's just think of the glittering gold city of El Dorado, spurred on by the tales of the locals. Many Spanish explorers set out to bring the myth into reality, quite a few were never to return. Also unforgotten is the passion – some would say obsession – of British explorer Percy Fawcett for the lost city of Z. To this day, no one knows what happened to Fawcett and his two companions in 1925, and whether their search was possibly crowned with success. But now, all the ancient stories about the lost jungle cities are getting new fuel. Modern scientists have discovered that cities from days long past actually lie dormant in the thickets of the Amazon jungle. And although even today it is extremely difficult to track down the ruins in the confusing seas of vegetation, a revolutionary key technology is helping to make the traces of the past visible. A New Perspective Instead of laboriously slashing through the jungle with machetes, experts are now able to identify the secrets of the past from the air. Onboard helicopters flying almost 200 meters above the ground, the light-based remote sensing technology LIDAR is used. This is capable of digitally clearing the treetops and revealing a glimpse of those structures that were previously hidden from view. In this way, the ancient ruins of the large urban settlement located on the Moxos Plain in the northern lowlands of Bolivia could also be made visible. The evidence gathered so far suggests that the site was abandoned about 600 years ago. However, the LiDAR images also show how complex social coexistence was between the years 500 and 1400 AD. According to the images, cities even then were characterized by impressive urban centers dominated by monumental platforms and pyramid-shaped structures. Artificially constructed elevated causeways connected the urban centers with suburban-like settlements that stretched for miles across the landscape. Water supply, in turn, was ensured with the help of sophisticated control and distribution systems that featured reservoirs and canals. While in the past, the stubborn cliché of nomadic, loosely connected indigenous peoples was still held, the important sensational discovery paints a completely different picture of historical reality. Thus, the wilderness of the Amazon basin had already been tamed many centuries before the arrival of the Europeans. If the views of the scientists involved are anything to go by, we should finally throw the image of the untouched jungle overboard. This is not least because the current finds are likely to embody the only the tip of a much larger archaeological iceberg. Within the next 10 to 20 years, experts say, we will uncover things in the jungle that until recently seemed unimaginable. Traces of Civilization And even if many sites are still waiting to be rediscovered by us, one thing is already undisputed. The complex sites that grace the Moxos Plain are not unique. For example, Michael Hackenberger of the University of Florida has been studying urban settlement in the pre-Columbian Amazon basin for some time, and lo and behold, many elements such as the construction of causeways and moats, as well as the alteration and cultivation of the landscape have already been demonstrated elsewhere in the Amazon. However, the current research also provides complementary new insights. Among the examples of urbanism in the Amazon rainforest known to date is the Zingu region of Mato Grosso, Brazil. However, the settlements we find here are more reminiscent of a collection of villages that are interconnected. Some researchers believe that, strictly speaking, they do not embody cities in the classical sense. They lack large centers and monumental structures such as mound platforms and temples. 
However, precisely those clearly defined centers are present in the Moxos plain. Consequently, there is little doubt that we are dealing with a fully urbanized area. If you will, the site shows something of a civilizational response to ever-increasing population. In the days before LiDAR technology, practical surveys and other remote sensing efforts had already uncovered hundreds of sites that covered an area of 4,400 square kilometers and were apparently isolated from one another. These included settlements that were permanently inhabited. Kasarabe inhabitants engaged in hunting, fishing, and the cultivation of staple crops such as maize. Furthermore, some 965 kilometers of canals and causeways were also identified. However, due to the immense logistical challenges, for a long time it was not possible for the researchers to connect the individual discoveries with each other and put them into a higher context. Accordingly, no one could say whether or how the respective finds were related to each other. Overwhelming Insights Even after reaching the isolated, densely forested area, it is anything but easy to recognize the remains of the structures and even find one's way around. Because of this, the researchers decided to use LIDAR to map six different areas from the air. Within them, the advanced system fired a network of infrared beams. As soon as the beams, hundreds of thousands of which are fired per second, hit something on the Earth's surface, they bounce back with the appropriate measure of distance. This creates a vast network of data points which, fed into computer software, creates high-resolution images that can be digitally logged. Once the trees are moved, the view is clear from the archaeological features on the ground. In the case of the Moxos Plain, 26 unique sites were identified, 11 of which were completely unknown to the experts. Within the archaeological record were two urban centers of enormous size, Kodaka and Lindivar. While the sites occupy areas of 1.3 and 3.1 square kilometers, respectively, each is surrounded by a network of ring ditches and fortified ramparts. Furthermore, the sites also house gigantic earthen platforms, artificial terraces, and cone-shaped pyramids that rise more than 20 meters in height. The fact that both the sacred and the civil buildings were not erected at random is shown by their meticulous orientation. Since all buildings always face north-northwest, they are likely to architecturally reflect the cosmological worldview of their builders. As already mentioned, the large centers are connected to the regional suburbs by numerous causeways. These connecting roads resemble the spokes of a wheel in their arrangement and protrude several kilometers into the landscape. We find a similar scheme in the case of the canals. These connected the major urban centers with rivers and apparently transported water to Kotokoka. While the architectural achievements of the Kasarabi culture are undoubtedly breathtaking, they are accompanied by a major drawback. They are made of adobe bricks, which are much less durable compared to Mayan limestone. But speaking of Kasarabi, who were the members of this pre-Columbian civilization anyway? Enigmatic Builders Investigations to date have revealed that the Kasarabi's former home had little to do with today's landscape. What presents itself today as a steady, densely forested area was hundreds of years ago a savanna-like area subject to recurring floods. Since the Andean cultures with their characteristic platforms, hills, and temples were not far away, it is reasonable to conclude that they had a direct influence on the development of the Kasarabi. However, since the parallels are far more sparse on closer inspection, most experts assume that the urban blossoming of the Kasarabi was largely independent. Accordingly, the buildings and sites that have been traced so far are considered unique in the entire Amazon region. However, one pressing question remains unanswered. We do not know what happened to the Kasarabi and their settlements. As already mentioned, the current state of research indicates that the settlement of the Moxos Plain ended around the year 1400, and thus before the arrival of the Europeans. Possibly, the discovered water reservoirs provide us with a clue to the decline of the Kasarabi. In an area known for its abundant rainfall, the construction of huge reservoirs seems extremely unusual. With this in mind, the suggestion is that the Kasarabi faced a severe, prolonged drought. Although we do not know with certainty whether the reservoirs were used for drinking water or for fish farming, it is clear that the Amazon has been repeatedly plagued by drought in the past. 
And even if the true fate of the Kasarabi may forever linger in the recesses of the past, one thing is certain. Other traces, such as the enigmatic geoglyphs or the stone spheres of Costa Rica, also show that the Amazon was once teeming with human activity. And although many artifacts have remained untouched for several centuries, archaeologists are now running out of time. Deforestation, agriculture, cattle ranching, and energy production mean that more and more jungle regions face an uncertain fate. Let's hope that researchers can uncover and understand the remnants of the past before they are lost to the future. And with that, thank you for watching our video all the way to the end. Feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons to support us for free and stay up to date at the same time. Before you take a look at the other videos in the credits, we'd like to ask your opinion. What do you think about the unique sites that researchers have discovered in the Amazon rainforest? And what secrets do you think might still be lying dormant in the jungle? We are looking forward to your comments.